make a map of all the distances uh, to the nearest school we need to uh, yeah, use the uh, we need to use the proximity tool but before we can do that uh, we need to do take a few steps first our uh, school uh, data is referenced in uh, in uh, you know in a geographic coordinate system, so in degrees, and it's going to be easier if we convert that to a system, a projected system in, in meters. So we're going to find a reproject tool, reproject layer, pick our school layer, and we just choose the British National Grids, and we reproject it to that. And let's rename this old schools. British National Grid, and now so now it's in British National Grid, which is in meters, so that's easier for calculating distances. And the next step is that we need to rasterize this layer, and we do that with raster and then conversion and rasterize. All right, so in our, as our input layer, we uh, choose our schools in the British National Grid, and we don't we can ignore this one, but we should set this one to one. So every pixel that corresponds to a school location will be set to 1. Uh, output units, let's use georeference units so we can just think in meters. Let's set the resolution to 10 meters, that should be plenty. 10 meters. And for the output extent, let's just use the extent of, the, of a layer. And we'll just use the layer, uh, our schools layer. Click OK. And the rest should be fine. So you can run our tool, close it. And now it's hard to see, but you can see there's a little black dot at the center of each school. And that is a, a one pixel to indicate uh, that there is a school. So the rest of the of the raster image has been left transparent by QGIS. So it is there, and, but everywhere else it's got a no data value. And now we can use this, this image as an input in our... Um, our next tool which is the proximity proximity raster data analysis so we choose our rasterized layer and uh, we can ignore this distance units that set that to georeferenced and uh, we don't care about the maximum distance in this case we don't need this we don't need this um, we can use this floating point or just set it to an 16-bit integer should be plenty for our purpose. So let's run this tool, close it, and now we, we see this this new map. And everywhere where it's black, we're close to a school, and where it's white, we're further away to a school. So let's add the, add the school layer on top. Yeah, so here we now see all the schools. So black, close to a school, white, further away from a school.